Ralph Baer's childlike inquisitiveness to invention, combined with a flair for innovation, led to the development of the interactive video computer game and created an entire new entertainment industry. I found a secret message. A secret message? It's a matter for the President of the United States. <laughs> Maybe I'll even get a medal. Bear returned home from World War II to a new box called television. He questioned why people could not play games on their TV. While this question was left unanswered, Bear worked in the defense industry, developing technologies for radar and training simulations. And then this thought surfaced again, September 1st, 1966. And I wrote a four-page paper that was basically the Magna Carta of the home video game industry in those four pages. If you're an electronics type like me, and if you're really good at both analog and digital circuit design, you need a medium in which to practice. Bayer's odyssey to bring new electronic toys into the marketplace began. It would take seven versions until what he dubbed the brown box was perfected, and his original idea of playing games off the TV was realized. And by 1972, in May of 72, watching my first video game, home video game, The Odyssey, being demonstrated, I could hardly contain myself, yeah. But like jumping up and say, hey, that's my baby. And the next thing I know is I'm uh, building breadboards for the very early microprocessor built by Texas Instrument. For 50 years, Ralph Baer's creativity has led to countless innovative firsts. But it is the video game that has provided the most enjoyment to its users and for which he will always be remembered.